This is a story about Jesus, but not in the way you might be used to. This story takes place when Jesus was just a kid. When Jesus was 12 years old, his family went on a trip. They traveled to the city of Jerusalem for a special holiday called Passover. His parents, Joseph and Mary, had made this trip every year as a tradition. But since Jesus was 12, it was his first time to tag along. Jerusalem was a much larger city than where Jesus grew up, with a lot going on. Kind of like how we would see New York City today. There were busy markets, crowds of people constantly moving around, and a very important building called the Temple. This was the heart of the city, where people came to worship God and teachers and scholars studied God's word. For anyone who wanted to learn about the Bible, this was the place to be. Jesus' family was only there for a short time though. And when the festival was over, Mary and Joseph packed up their things and got ready to head back to their home in Nazareth. The only thing was, Jesus wasn't with them. But since there was a large group of people traveling back to Nazareth, they figured he was probably with some friends in the group and set out on the journey home. As the caravan made its way back to Nazareth, Mary and Joseph started to get a little concerned. They had traveled a good distance from Jerusalem and the sun was starting to set, but they still hadn't seen Jesus. Is Jesus with you? LOL, yeah right. Seriously, do you know where he is? He's probably spending the night with some friends. The next day, the caravan started moving again, but there was still no sign of Jesus. Can't find him anywhere, what about you? Nobody's seen him since we left Jerusalem. As you could imagine, they freaked out. It was a case of the old, I thought you were picking up the kids. I thought you were picking up the kids. Classic. Joseph and Mary hightailed it back to Jerusalem and started frantically searching for Jesus. He wasn't at the pizza place. He wasn't bowling. He wasn't at the golf course. He definitely wasn't snowboarding. After three whole days, they finally found him in the last place they expected. Jesus was in the temple, sitting among the teachers and scholars. He wasn't hurt or scared. Instead, he was talking with the priests and asking them questions. Everyone around, including his parents, were amazed at how much he knew about God's word. Joseph and Mary were totally mappy. You know what mappy is, right? When your parents are a little mad about something, but also happy that you're okay. Like if you did a sweet backflip out of a tree, they'd be like, that was awesome, but don't ever do that again. Mappy. Now, Jesus didn't do anything wrong. His parents were just a little shaken up by the whole, we lost our kid for a few days thing. He asked why they were surprised to find him at the temple talking about the Bible, since, you know, he's the son of God. Kind of makes sense for him to be there. But they didn't understand what he meant and told him to come with them right away. Jesus was obedient. He immediately left the temple to head back home with his parents. Sure, they weren't perfect. I mean, they did leave their 12-year-old in a faraway city for a few days by himself. But Jesus knew that they had been placed in authority over him by God. And if he disobeyed them, he would be disobeying God. And because he submitted to authority, Jesus grew in wisdom and favor with God and man. The end. 